Okay, so we've got Django installed. Now it's time to start our project. So to do that, just head over to our terminal, clear the screen, and just type in django-admin.py, and then start project, and then name it. What do we want to name our project? Well, let's just call it Django API. Okay, now if we type in ls to list the stuff in our directory, we have this Django API directory. So now we need to move into that directory, cd Django API, and now when we list this stuff, we see this manage.py file. This is the directory you always want to be in from now on in your terminal, uh, whatever directory has your manage.py file, because we use this manage.py file to run Django commands. So you have to be in that directory. So, all right. So now let's head over to our Sublime text and let's add this project to Sublime. So click on project and then add folder to project. And then you just want to navigate to your C drive and find that Django API directory, double click it, and then find the second Django API directory inside of it, single click it just to highlight it, and then click select folder. And when we do, boom, we see our Django project. So the first thing we want to do is head over to our settings.py file, and let's get rid of these comments. We need to come down here to installed apps and add the Django framework that we installed in the last video. So to do that, we just come here and type in rest underscore framework, right? Be sure to put your comma after it because we're gonna need to uh, add another installed app probably in the next video. So, okay, so our project is up and running. Now, the next thing we always wanna do right at the beginning is push our migrations. When Django is first installed, it has some admin user uh, database migrations that need to be pushed. So to do that in git bash, we type in win pty and then python manage.py and then migrate. And boom, 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 it's all been migrated. Okay, so now we can run our server to make sure that everything's been installed correctly. To do that, we just type in python manage.py run server. And okay, it's starting to work. So now just head over to our web browser and go to localhost colon 8000. 8000 is the port that Django runs on. And we can say, hey, congratulations, we've got this little rocket and the installation has worked successfully. So that's really all it takes to start our first Django project and uh, get everything set up. In the next video, we'll go ahead and add another app to our project and start building this thing out.